Hey everyone, Nick from BMX here, and welcome back to Florida Xenoblade Chronicles. We're just continuing to do um, quests in and around the, um, the, the the hidden village here in Fallen Arm. Um, so the next one is actually a quest for Alika called Therapy. I um, just talked to Alika not long ago, and I don't think she gave me another quest. So let me just see. Uh, now she's the one outside the village, right? Come on, Ryan, really? Oh, he jumps when he's facing the wrong way. Oh, and then he jumps straight. Oh, shit, whatever, just jump on the water. Ridiculous. Let me just go out and talk to Alika again and see if she... What the fuck? Really? You know what, it might be easier to just warp to the damn junks at this point. Jump three times for no reason, maybe four. Welcome. The name of that guy over there is Eyes. I've known him a long time. He started to act really strange lately. I wonder if something's wrong. Sorry, I was lost in my thoughts. Please forget what I said. Might have to have him register. Let's see. Hey, Eyes. I'm worried about Alika. No point scavenging for a living. Better just bury stuff. I wish I could bury myself. That'd be the best thing. That ain't too weird. Ah, there's a quest marker now. Cool. Alright. Excuse me, have you seen Eyes lately? He's like, like literally right over there, dude. He's been acting strangely. I'm all ears. Ryan become all ears? What that mean? I really need to talk to somebody about this. He's been saying and doing some unusual things lately. Shouting things at random or suddenly breaking out at the dance. He never used to act this way. It would have been unthinkable. If you see him, would you mind talking to him for me? I'd like to hear the thoughts of someone from outside the village. Sudden shout and dance? Not strange at all. Ricky wants to shout and dance with new friend Eyes. <laughs> You're an odd one. Perhaps if you talk to him, it'll trigger some kind of change in Eyes. Please talk to him if you get the chance. Alright, just gotta go talk to him. Thank you very much. Hopefully you can help Eyes snap out of this. No sweat. We'll be done before you know it. Yeah, let's give it our all. Thankfully, he ain't far. Hi there. Huh? What's up? Wanna help me dig a hole? Gotta dig a massive hole to bury all the bad things. Burials. Burials. Oh, this guy's going through some shit, dude. Can't beat a good burial. Bury all the bad things. Bury to forget. Forget and never remember. That's the way to do it. These burials are fun. Come on, everyone, get one. You ask me why I bury stuff? Because I don't want to think about the bad things, of course. If you're going to get in the way, go and do something else. What are you about playing at? What are you doing hanging around here and annoying me? What, Alika sent you? She can mind her own business. Stop interfering with me. Hi there. You're persistent, I'll give you that much. Ain't no one ever harassed me as long as you lot. Don't worry, I'm alright now. Made me feel better to get all that off my chest. I feel responsible for all the stuff that Eggle did. How can I be forgiven over all the lives lost? I can't be forgiven. There's only one thing for it. Dig and bury. You just gotta keep talking until the red mark above his head disappears. You again. What are you hounding me for? Oh yeah, Lika put you up to it. Yeah, I understand. I've started to calm down a bit. Alright, I understand. If you say that you're from the Bionis, I ain't gonna doubt you. I'll stop trying to forget all the bad things and focus on the future. Yeah, you're right, of course. I can't promise I'll change straight away, but I'll see what I can do. Alright, no more red marks. Let's go back and talk to her. Pretty easy quest when you think about it. Okay. Ah, I see. It did seem as though there was something on his mind. The pain of what Eggle has done must have affected him terribly. But I don't have to worry anymore. Eyes is back to his old self. Well, that's that. You've been an amazing help. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Alright, so we get 8,000 gold, 5,000 experience, and an ether defense down 4. Other than the gem, it's not really even a good reward, but it's a very easy quest, so... Can't really complain about it too much. Okay, so... One more... Actually, there's, oh, there's more than one more. There's a bunch more. Um, <coughs> Alright, so we gotta get a quest from Zekit. Now, Zekit only appears at night, so let's make it nighttime. time. 
I believe he's hanging around by the um, the ether light. You're not Zekit, but I'll take your quest. The other day I met another Homs just outside the village. Looks like we weren't the only ones who survived. His name is Theo, and he was a member of the Recon Squad. I never met him, but I heard all sorts of good things about him. But you have a quest. Come on, where is it? I've been looking for so long, I'm about re almost ready to give up. Ugh, I tell you all what I'm doing, but it's really embarrassing. It's certainly not something I can talk to another guy about. Uh, I wonder if it's Melia, or Fiora, or who do you gotta talk to? We'll try Fiora, since I have her in the party right now. Come on, where's that thing? I've been looking for so long, I'm almost ready to give up. If you don't, it must be her. If you don't mind me asking, what's wrong? Hey, I know that voice. Fiora? Yes, it is you. Is that you, Carlos? You know, I thought you died at the Battle of Sword Valley. I think the stars are really alive. I fell down from the sword and the villagers helped me back here. Wow, that's amazing. I can't believe it. The colony residents are going to be overjoyed when they hear. Oh man, this brings it all back. I haven't seen you since I enlisted in the Defense Force. You look so different. Wow. <laughs> well, a few things have changed for me since then. <coughs> but back to you. Is something wrong? Oh yeah, I was so happy to see you again. I almost forgot. I've lost something really important to me. It's the sword on which I swore an oath to my best friend. We enlisted in the Defense Force at the same time. None of this is embarrassing. You'd think he'd be looking for his fleshlight. What happened to it? I think I must have lost it when I fell off the sword. I haven't seen it since that day. Would you mind if I helped you? I mean, it would mean a lot if, if, I, if you would let me do this for you. I kind of feel it's fate that we met here today. I know I can find it. Huh, <laughs> just like when you were a kid. Rash enough to just ex ex uh, rash enough to just accept any challenge, no matter how difficult. I can see why Von Gar wanted you for the Defense Force. Rash? Come on, don't be me so mean. <laughs> I'm sorry, Fiora. I'm just glad you haven't lost that sweet old Fiora charm. Okay, then. So you look for it? All right, find the Oath Sword in the area of the Power Pipe rooms. All right. Thanks, you'll have it back in no time. You'd be doing me a massive favor, Fiora. Start looking around the wrist of the Fallen Arm. I'd be looking I'll be looking elsewhere in the meantime. That okay with you? All right, well, let me put Ryan back in front, because I'm not doing that right away. I do see a quest marker. Hey, Zekit. <clears throat> I don't know what to do. The scheduled inspection is just around the corner, but I have a bad feeling something is going to go wrong. I'm all ears. Yes, please tell us. You listen? Oh, thank you. Here's the thing. I'm in charge of inspecting the ether exhaust system, but I'm also almost certain that something will go wrong this time. I have a sense for these things. I'm sure something terrible is going to go wrong this year. It comes around once every ten years. So I suppose I can just skip it this once, but it doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right. It sounds intriguing. Maybe we should go ourselves. Go and take a look for ourselves. I feel sure something will go wrong if I go on my own. But if you all go together, you can probably handle anything, right? So, will you go and check the ether exhaust system for me? I'd be so grateful. Alright, so just eliminate the problems in the air. It's probably a unique monster, I think. I'm so glad. I'd just like you to check that nothing seems out of the ordinary. If everything seems alright, then I'll carry out the proper inspection. No sweat will be done before you know it. Yay, Ryan, you want Oh, you're Ryan. Alright, so, uh, the ether exhaust, she said, right? Uh, where is that, actually? Ether exhaust. Oh, it's there. Okay. Well, I could go from uh, the inlet beach, I guess. That kind of makes some sense. Oh, actually, that's too high to get up on. Alright, never mind. I can't go from inlet beach. I can probably go from digit 5 beach then. I've obviously been there. Make sure I'm headed the right way. Kinda, yeah, I'm more this way. Start swimming, bitch. Mm, 
is my way out. Give me a warning lamp. You know, speaking of collectibles, I should check the collector peak. I think I only needed one more. For the, oh, no, I'm done for this. It's one more for Makanis Field. And I've been back there since I last looked. Okay. Um... No, I gotta go south now. Alright. Seeing anything crazy right now. Wait, there was a landmark here? I could've just went to the landmark. Oh, no, no, I need to be up there. I, I was just up there, though. Damn, no, yeah. I was just up there. I didn't see any monster or anything. Let's try this again. I mean, there was nothing unusual. Oh, you know what? It's probably... Because it, 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 it's a unique monster from what I'm pretty sure of, but I think I already killed it, which means that I need to make it respawn. Now, I don't know what its respawn rate is. Every unique monster has a respawn rate, unless it's one that doesn't respawn, but those are not too common. So, um, basically like something like 35% is pretty normal. Like, every time you come to an area or load a save, there's a ch that chance that it'll respawn. So, basically, because I'm like, ain't nothing here, you know? I just need to save it and just keep reloading until I, uh, just like I did in, uh, back in Volok Mountain, you know? <sighs> Alright, hold on, guys, I gotta, I gotta pause real quick. Alright, I'm back, sorry about that. Uh, oh, still nothing here. Just load it again, just keep loading it, I guess. It's just like there's no monster here. <laughs> Shit. Like what what's the problem? The problem is she isn't doing it with me. Nice. You know, I, I might want to look into this, like, what is this thing supposed to be? What is it called? What level's it at? <laughs> and what's its respawn rate? Hold on a second. Okay, so. It's called the Evil Batham. It's a 30% respawn rate. I remember killing it. I remember because it dropped a skill book. Alright. <sighs> Uniques that are part of a quest shouldn't appear before the quest. That just bugs me. Or they should automatically respawn when you take the quest. That would be great, wouldn't it? But at 30%, it should have appeared by now. I mean, it's... Wait, I see a, a red mark. Is it actually on the other side of this? That was the first time I saw a red mark, though. Alright, this thing has got to have an opening. It just doesn't have an opening, it just... Oh, there it is. That's Evil Batham, alright. Oh, it's a mech on. I should have switched to Fiora, but whatever. I'm level 54, I shouldn't have much of a problem with this guy, though. Oh, it keeps moving. I'm trying to keep the freaking camera on him. Awesome. I'm gonna go all out. 
trying to get you to pay attention to me. I'm just turtling while they knock the crap out of him. I'm not even gonna bother with the chain attack since. Oh, oh wait. He's on break. Ah, oh, I wasn't fast enough. Well, maybe now I will do it. Oh, he's toppled too. That's perfect. That's not what I wanted to do. I was going for the spinning thing. I can't see Bandit Cam all of a sudden. Move it over. <coughs> Alright, yep, he's destroyed. Nailed that too. Alright. Very cool. Silence and frozen gauntlets. I don't even know what kind of weapon silence is, but I definitely want to look into it. I want to look into the gauntlets first, the frozen gauntlets. Charla, and it's not any good. Alright, well, we killed that son of a bitch, right? Go back to the village. Back to the village, and the back to the village, and the back to the village, and again. Do you, do you have a quest? I'll take it. When my mom and dad fight, Zeket lets me hang with her. When I'm feeling down, I go talk to her, and she just listens to me. Zeket is so cool. She's like my idol and friend all in one. I wish I could be more like her. Okay, but do you have a quest? I don't know, an achievement of some kind. Hey there, got a second? I need to tell you something. It's my mom and dad. They won't stop fighting. I hate it when they fight, and they do it all the time. So if they won't stop, I'm going to find a way to make them stop. But I need your help. That's a bit of a pain. Okay, here's the idea. They're fighting because their precious keepsake broke. So I figured the best way to stop them fighting is to fix it. Fix the keepsake and everything will go back to normal. <laughs> it doesn't work that way, kid, but alright. The thing is, I don't know what it was made of. So I can't get the materials I need to fix it. I don't want to go anywhere near my mom and dad right now. So you have to go talk to them about the keepsake. I don't worry about that later. Thanks. No sweat. We'll be done before you know it. Oh, that must have been the last one to register because I got like a village of Makin or whatever. Okay. Mecca and we're in the ether exhaust system. If I'd gone alone, it's scheduled. Thank you, thank you so much. I might never have made it out of there if I hadn't sent you ahead. Well, that's that. I'm so glad we sorted all this out. If this is going to happen every time I go to inspect the place, I wish we were scheduled to take place every 100 years. Then I would only have a panic attack once every century. Alright, so we got 16,000 gold, 12,000 experience, and a break for a jam. <laughs> Very cool. Alright, so that's another quest down. Um, so the next quest, I think I've done already. The History of Mechanis. I feel like I've done that. Yeah, there it is right there. Okay, so then there's Mending Memories, which might be the quest for the kid that I just got. Yeah, it is. Alright. So ask Kazad and Kafari about the necessary materials. That sounds like a whole bunch of fun. Hashtag sarcasm. Okay, um, now I believe that depending on which one you talk to, there's two different nested quests that'll happen. So let me just look at which one I actually want to do. You know what, I think I'm going to go with the mother on this, because I... Well, actually, wait, before I before I say that I'm going to go there, because I'm, uh, the mother sends you to get three pieces of bronze wood. Let's see if I have three pieces of bronze wood, because if I have... Well, I would want to have, like... Well, no, I won't need four, really, because I already have the Collectopedia filled in. So let me check and see if I have Bronzewood. 
earthly pieces of it, because then that would be really easy to do. It's a collectible, right? Um, uh, most recent, maybe? six of them and it is marked for a quest. Okay, cool. So that means I gotta find Kafaria. Now, Kafaria appears at night. It is night, but I'm gonna check the time. Oh yeah, we're good. Okay, so she should be on the pipe somewhere. I'm going medieval on your ass. How do you get to the pipe from here? Here, here it is, here it is, here it is. Okay, I know there's a way to get to it. Hmm. Oh. Well, if that's her, she's got a quest. It is. Yeah. Makes it wishes to fix the keepsake for Kaza and I? She's right, though. We've been fighting for far too long. The precious keepsake that broke was a handcrafted brooch. Oh, brooch. It's dear to us because my husband and I made it together. What did we use to make it? Now, let me think here. Bronze wood and... Oh, I can't remember the second thing we used to make it. Alright. Oh, maybe I have to do both. That would suck. I already got it. Okay. Um, does that mean I still gotta talk to the other one? And do the father's side? Not what I was looking for. Come on. Give my quest update. I do have to do both. Shit. I thought it was one or the other. Okay, um... Because he wants flyer bloom scales, and I'm probably going to have to go out and kill flyers for that, you know? Uh, Alright, when well, he's around during the day... He's at the entrance, so... Uh... Jump, jump, jump. Gibbs, could you stop licking the carpet, you weirdo? Oh, there he is. My daughter, Mix Mixic. She asked for your help with something? Oh, I see. This must be about the feud I'm having with her mother, right? Obviously, I want her fight to end just like everyone else does. But unless that precious keepsake is repaired, how can I? And what's worse, I can only recall one of the materials it's made of. Flyer bloom scales. It won't be enough, but for now, would you mind finding some? Oh, well, thankfully I only need two of them. Alright, so... The flyer bloom scales are dropped from happiness flyers, and they're not that hard to find, so... They definitely appear around here. At least last time I was over here, I was seeing a hell of a lot of them. I don't know well. Come on, camera. There's one. Good night, sleep tight, you're right. Gooey grunge is not what I was looking for. I see down here is Ponyos. And more Ponyos. And, oh, there's a happiness flyer. A couple of them, actually. Well, he's still a gooey grind, but let's see what's in here. Uh. Suck on 
Theo will trade them, but it could be a five star affinity, and I don't think I'm there. I will check where I am at with Affinity with Swollen Arm area, but I doubt it's five stars. It's four. Mm. Which, like I said, it goes up fast, but there's no way I'm maxed out already, you know? There's no way. There's another one over there. Good night. Ooh, nice big chest. <laughs> so there is one there. I need two. stuff crap flying around but it's not not the happiness flyers you know I yeah, need two of these things yeah, let me warp way warp back doing that. Every time I gotta warp back, I hit the minus button instead of X. Gibbs. Hey, stop licking the carpet. Uh, you're being weird. Not appreciated. All right. Go down to that beach again. So now there's at least two of them down there. Gibbs, come here. Come here. I want you away from there. No. You look in that spot on the carpet. I don't know why you do that. And it's pissing me off, dude. Just stop. Thank you. Sorry, I'm reasoning with the dog here. Oh, big chest, too. Alright, that's pretty much a gimmick. Alright, so that's Resolution Father completed. Alright, so now we gotta go back and talk to the kid. And wow, I got a lot of experience points there. Holy shit. Okay, so where is this kid? Somewhere around here, right? But at night. <laughs> there she is. Alright. You know what I need to fix the keepsake? You even got the things I need? Wow, you guys are so nice. I think I'm gonna cry. Finally, I can fix the stupid keepsake of theirs. Mom and Dad were so happy they cried and hugged. Finally, they made up and we can go back to being a normal family. Thank you so much. I'm so, so grateful to you guys. Well, that's that. Even Rude, yeah, yeah, we heard it. My family's back together and not arguing. I hope it always stays like this till the end of time. All right, so we've got 12,700 gold, 9,300 experience, and an amber rod, which is probably a weapon for Melia. Check it out. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna step right here. I'll see you guys real soon. The Morzina Blank Chronicle. Till I'm done, my voice is starting to hurt again.